Why don't we finish up Yagashiji? I'm back. I guess Juro hasn't come home yet. Fluffy isn't here either. I should get dinner ready. Alright, classic. Just turn on the baseball game. This could be it. What should I make for dinner? Does this does this matter? I think we have some ground beef. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. <laughs> gets back. Why don't you go wash up while we wait? Right. <laughs> She's, you know, for all of her, her weirdness about her relation with Juro, she's really quite cute about it. Sounds like you're pretty hungry. It's okay. I will wait. <laughs> well, it seems like Juro is going to be late. Go ahead and eat before it gets cold. No, I could never. You can. Please, I insist. Go ahead. Uh, uh, are you sure? But what about you, Megumi-san? Don't worry. I'll eat with Juro. I see. In that case, I'll do as you suggest. Thank you for always preparing our meals. It was as delicious as ever. Oh, thank you. Can she really does know how to put out a feast. That's okay. I've already put away the cutting board and everything. Why don't you go watch some TV and relax? TV? That's better. Mm. You know, Miyura-kun, you don't have to wear your hat in the house. The surgical scar on your forehead doesn't bother me. How did you know this scar was from surgery? Did I tell you? Oh, oh, well, it, um, just a lucky guess. I see. <sighs> oh. oh? It all happened right here. Oh, did you? Is that where? Yeah, that's where you shot him with your magic gun, huh? And that's that. Keitaro Miura is a witch. You can't overlook him just because he lives here. But Juro could be home any minute. Does it have to be now? Yes, right now. <sighs> How did Fluffy now, on to the next headline. The give her a magic gun? That occurred today in Kiyakicho. An investigation found that the accident was the result of a gas leak. This is what happened before. Don't come over. Hurry up and shoot him right in the forehead. Oh. Miyuriku, you always wear your hat, even when you eat. Megumi-san? Why is that? It's because I have a scar on my forehead. I thought it might be unpleasant. Oh. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. That scar, it allows you to pilot a sentinel. Isn't that right? How do you know about that? You want to know how? I'll tell you. But can you show me your forehead first? <sighs> Sorry, but I have no choice. This will hurt, but you'll soon forget. 
God. I'm sorry, Miyurakun. Don't touch him. He's dangerous. <clears throat> Just as I thought. He's had surgery. There's a component embedded in his forehead. It forces them to use their magic. Who would do such a thing? Humans, obviously. There's many that greatly covet this power. But it's not entirely bad. That component gave him immunity to the curse. This is a good catch. The curse? Yes. He is able to use magic and not suffer the same fate as Juro. Huh? All right, you see him. It won't be long before he wakes. I'd get out of here if I were you. Um curse, huh? All right. Next, we bring you a follow-up report on the gas explosion in Kiyakicho. The administration claims these explosions are being taken seriously. Gas companies have been put on immediate notice and instructed to be vigilant in their inspections. Gas explosions? Something doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's probably because it's not. I'm home. Huh? Miracle. Have you been at home the entire day? <laughs> Welcome back. Dinner's on the table for you. It's fine. I'm not hungry, actually. Come on. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you start. Why do you care about me so much anyways? Oh, is that... bad? <sighs> Just quit treating me like a child. Oh. Miyurakun? What's wrong? I'm sorry, but there's somewhere I need to go. I won't be long. A gas explosion? I need to see for myself. Fluffy. You failed to shoot a Sekigahara. You're going too damn slow. All right, sorry. Why were you taking so long in there anyway? Striking stupid poses with your gun doesn't accomplish anything. When it comes to things like this, you need to do the deed quick. Quickly, you got that? <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Got it. Well, nothing that can be done about it now. I feel so strange watching this already but knowing that screw up <laughs> that uh, the cat is Izumi. Slash Q Toshiba. This time? Shu Amiguchi. The floppy haired dunce that hangs around Juro. He is also a witch. <gasps> you should still have some bullets left. Seal his powers tomorrow. Think you can handle that? <laughs> I'll get it done. Are you watching me? <laughs> Fine. No, that's I that has to be like the actual oh. cat, Lucky. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi kun. We just shoot his ass right here, in the middle of everything. Did you leave your motorcycle nearby again? Sure did. But won't it be bad if the school finds out? Nah, it just looks like a motorcycle. But it's a regular bike. Really? It's obviously a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring it into school, so no big deal. You can still get in trouble. Whatever. Our school doesn't care. I was wondering, huh? What's up? What do you want? Uh, I'm not here to talk. It's you I'd like to see, Amiguchi-kun. Me? Hello? You're from 1C, aren't you? I am. Cool. So what can I do for you? Well, I don't really want to talk about it here. Could we meet somewhere later? Just the two of us? <sighs> oh, I see. How about after school? Let's say the roof of the new building? The roof? Yep. I'll be waiting. It's hard being so popular. Glad we've got that all set up. Does that bother you? No. Uh <laughs> Mock speed sprint. Fluffy. I know what you're going to do with the deed. I won't fail this time. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> it's just like this crazy bitch talking to a cat. What the fuck? <laughs> He reformed them. Is he a delinquent too? Yeah, but he's different from the others. Plus, Amiguchi kun hangs out with him. Oh, he is so dreamy. Oh uh, yeah, that's. I guess that's just Ogata being a decent guy. Why would I go to the Karabe house? Why would I go to the Karabe house? Yeah, we need to go to the roof. They wonder if he's there. He is. All I have to do is shoot him. It'll only take a second. Okay. Here we go. Where are you keeping the gun, hun? What's up, guys? Oh, I totally forgot. What's happening? Oh, this is Yakushiji san from 1C. She stopped me this morning, told me she had something to talk to me about. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. <laughs> I'll just get out of your way then. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. Really. But I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? I need to shoot you in the fucking head. No need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20. Transmitted. That's right. He got shot and was just fucking teleported into his, his sentinel. What's going on? Okay, bye. Have a nice trip. Juro? No way. Juro. What did you 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 shot Amikuchikun with a gun and then a giant robot appeared. You saw everything? But why did you Where did it fly off to? Shit. Where's the cat when you need him? What the hell did you do this time? Fluffy he must have come into contact with Miura too. Damn it. How irritating. Juro, he. He saw me do it. Are you sure about that? I'll take care of it. What are you still doing here? I need to manipulate his memories and make him forget everything he saw. You think I can do that with you hanging around? Take a hint and scram! <gasps> yeah, talk about making a deal with the devil. How you doing, Jiro? You okay? Jiro. Um, what is it? You're making a weird face. Huh? Um, well... The roof? What are you talking about? Look, we've got a magic cat that can wipe memories. Don't worry about it. Fluffy. He really did alter his memories. It's nothing. I'll start making dinner. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just make instant noodles or something later. You can't eat that for dinner. It won't take <laughs> long. So hang on just a bit. Okay? I really just wanted some ramen. Hmm. 
Now to the ongoing story of the American helicopter crash. Hello. Huh? During a routine flyby, a U.S. military helicopter clipped Sakura High School at low altitude. <gasps> yeah, that's clearly what happened. Landed into Ayame Park. A U.S. military helicopter? That was definitely a sentinel. Did Fluffy do this too? Fluffy is all powerful. Fear Fluffy. Worship Fluffy. What a nice evening. Fluffy. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported in the aftermath of the U.S. military helicopter crash. First gas explosions, now helicopter crashes. Human cities really are the worst. <laughs> there was no U.S. helicopter crash. It was different from the one Juro was piloting, but it was a sentinel. Altering the news is part of your powers, too? You think cats are some kind of little furry gods? I mean, cats do. Sure. You're no cat. Well, duh. It'd be pretty crazy if there was a talking cat wandering around. Oops. Wait a minute. What if you're the crazy one? I mean, that's pretty guessable at this point, anyway. Maybe I'm just a figment of your imagination. Maybe there's no such thing as magic. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Ah, classic. Locks three laws, huh? Well, guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'm a cat-like robot. <laughs> <laughs> I even gave you a secret gadget. Oh yeah, the time machine's inside your desk drawer. Wanna check out my four-dimensional pocket? <laughs> Juro's memories of what you really did erase them. You gave me no choice. But if you can do it so easily, what's to say you won't do the same to me? Well, nothing really. So it's Damn. possible that you won't restore his memories and are just using me for your own personal gain. If I was a bad guy, sure. The Daimos Code. By sealing those that hold power, we'll be able to defeat the Kaiju. That's what you said, right? I said that you all wouldn't have to die. Tell me what you're really trying to do. Otherwise, I won't help you anymore. That's going against our contract. Yeah. Fine, I'll make an exception this time. Even if you seal the witches, the kaiju will still come. Then what are we sealing them for? This is a game. A game of survival. I've simply been readying the playing field. And now the witches will join in the fight. Oh? They'll have no choice but to take their sentinels into battle. Then, what I've been shooting them with is... A magic that forces them onto the battlefield. No. Anything can be resolved with a magical spell. A happy ending for everyone. You know that's not the way it works. Your world's future is on the line. You need to fight to win it. I'm just here to watch it happen. You know, I feel like this is a very different pitch than uh, we got from to me way too much today. the uh, Izumi. What does it like the, to as Kyuta Shiba. Anyways. Your only concern is for Juro, right? I've been looking for memories in that busted brain of his. It's like trying to sift through mud. And it's all for you. But if you want to break our contract, then I'll stop, right? It won't be hard to find someone more capable than you. An honest girl who actually wants her wish granted. Oh, fuck off. Now, if you plan on upholding your end of the contract, then I need proof. I want you to shoot your friend. Tomi Kisaragi. She's a witch. I can't do that. Remember you The only contract. friend we've got. Remember it real good. Real good. Tell me. Think about the contract, then decide what you want to do. I'm watching TV now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, my show's on.
Juro? Juro just fell asleep in the fucking living room? Sleeping out here? You're gonna catch a cold. Well, then close the door. You again. But how? I said, don't wake him up, idiot. I'm fixing him. This prank is starting to get on my nerves. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Is someone trying to test me? You really are a suspicious one, aren't you? I mean, I'd be suspicious too. There's a fucking talking cat. Your cute girl charm is quickly wearing off. It's time to start accepting your reality. But... Talking cats don't exist. That's right. And yet here I am. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Even better. I know your wish. Hasn't Juro said anything to you? Something about his dreams, perhaps? Now that you mention it, he did say he had a dream about getting in a robot. Yes, I've been digging through his memories. Will that make him remember everything? Maybe, if they're still in there. I can find memories and put them back into an empty head. Pretty amazing, I know. <sighs> oh, goodness. Well, that's the end of your trial period. <laughs> I gave you a preview of the benefits you'll get from me. Anything further requires a contract. <sighs> oh, fine, I'll answer any questions you have. And then you have to decide. After you agree, there'll be no more questions. I expect you to carry out your duties with no complaints. Let's say I do agree to this contract. How do I know you'll hold up your end of the deal? Well, aren't you rude? Cats are free spirits, but they are not con artists. Oh, I don't know about that. A cat who betrays his word is nothing more than an animal. If you don't trust me, then say so. <sighs> what exactly are you? A magic cat, obviously. <laughs> You said you came from a world that was destroyed? That's right. My world was destroyed by Daimos. Daimos. You mean the Kaiju, right? You heard that from Juro Izumi, didn't you? The curse that summons them, that's the Daimos Code. And all the witches in this world are affected by it. Can you tell me more about the witches? They are those born with the power of magic. Oh, I was doing quite a lot today. <sighs> Highlighting sentinels, using gates. Goodness me. It's only a fraction of their power. And Juro is one of them? That's right. He's a witch, too. The Daimos Code. You mentioned that before. You said it was a relic of an ancient civilization? A terribly old relic from a magical civilization that existed millions of years ago. Mm. But if it's from that long ago, humans would have still been apes. It's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> Just very casual about it. What will I have to do to fulfill my end of the contract? At least a general idea. Your job isn't hard. First, I will give you one of my magical tools. You will use that to seal the witches. Seal them? What happens after that? The Daimos Code will call the Kaiju. If you seal the witches that have access to it, you will be able to live longer than you are fated. Oh? Don't be shy if you're not going to ask him. You can fix Juro, right? Sifting through someone's head is what I'm best at. Oh. Okay. I will accept your contract. Then it's settled. Now, this should go without saying, but this agreement between us, if anyone finds out, the contract will be broken, and you'll never see me again. Oh. What's your real name? Call me whatever you want. <laughs> well, I don't... You called me something when you saw me at school. What was it? Oh, um, Fluffy. Now, how lame. Not very original, are you? Lots of things are fluffy. Well, whatever. I guess that's fine. 
It's fine. I feel like we haven't talked in forever. Yeah. Me Good morning, Sami-chan. Morning. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. You don't want to go with your friends? You're my friend too. Or did you forget that? Well, anyways, I noticed something the other day. It was how unusually quiet your room was. So you can understand my surprise when I saw that all your things were gone. Damn, you were rooming with Asami and you just fucking dipped? All right, I'm sorry for not saying anything. That's okay. Just kind of feels like a waste, not taking advantage of the apartment Shikishima got for us. Huh. Then again, they are Showa era buildings. So I guess they're not that great. <laughs> so, where are you living now? Oh, um, at Juro Karabe's house. Hold up, you're living with him? Seriously? You have Morimura's permission for that, right? Well, probably. Oh, you've changed, Megumi. You Damn. think so? You've been way more proactive since you came here. Which is a good thing and all. It's just... Well, you know, he's not... I know that. But I don't care. Since the day Juro showed up, no matter how much the world might change, I decided that I would always be by his side. Oh. Uh huh. Sheesh, Megumi. But I get it. I'll help any way I can. Oh. We're friends, you know? You can talk to me about anything. Oh, right. Thank you. Come on. We're gonna be late. Tomi, I don't deserve your friendship. I hope one day you can forgive me. I'm a liar added to the thought cloud. Jesus. It's time. I have to shoot Tommy. That, that hurts, man. Okay, then. Usami-chan, wait. <sighs> What now? I changed my mind on the melon pan. Make it a chocolate cornet instead. <gasps> oh, come on. Okay, I'll be waiting. So Yori wanted... Uh, egg pun? What's wrong? Hey, Megumi. I lost at rock, paper, scissors. So I have to get stuff for everyone from the cafeteria. Man, I'm the one who suggested it, too. Oh, right. I gotta hurry. You sure you want to wait here? If you don't hurry, they're gonna run out. I'm tired of the chaos buying a piece of bread brings. <laughs> Fucking same. I don't miss standing in a cafeteria line. Animals. Uh, Kisaragi. Oh, good timing. Hold this. Hey. <laughs> All right. One more time. Hey, wait. You need to buy something too. Fine. What do you want? Oh, uh. Anpan. I thought you didn't like sweets. Huh? Well, whatever. Cute. Yours too. Keep holding that. Do I have to get rid of um Ogata? Tony. Hmm? You trying to buy bread too? It, it... Want me to get something for you too? Oh. No, if you don't decide soon, there's gonna be... Okay, out of the way, you... <laughs> out of the way, you nerds. Can I just do it in the crowd? Tommy, please forgive me. <laughs> Tommy, what happened? Are you okay? Uh... Just hang on. Do you need me to take you to the nurse's office? Huh? I can't 
cafeteria? Why are you here? Oh, right. Rock, paper, scissors. This is horrifying. What else did I need to buy? <sighs> Do I just leave? Yeah, do we now have to justify it to Ogata? Hey, you. Hang on a sec. I saw you. You did something to Kisaragi in the cafeteria, didn't you? Huh? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Can't just leave, eh? Hang on. Don't play dumb. And this isn't just about Kisaragi. <sighs> I can't remember it exactly. You were the one who helped me before. I think. Is that right? Please stop. If you don't leave me alone, I'll call for help. We just... I can't... You were the one who... Is that right? Please stop. If you don't leave... Do we just run? I guess we run. I guess that answers that. It was her. Yeah. Huh. I'm home. Huh. Juro. Are you sleeping? Uh, Yakushiji? Sorry. Did I wake you? That dream. The woman at Sumire Bridge. It was Fuyusaka-san. What? Oh no. You heard me? Fuyusaka-san is in your class, right? Uh oh. This has nothing to do with you. Uh-oh. Was he dreaming? Or remembering? And why about her? What a nice evening. Fluffy. Fucking cat. I shot Tommy. Well, then I stand corrected. Looks like you had it in you after all. A deal's a deal. I'll poke inside Juro's head for you. What does Juro's dream mean? What are you talking about? The one about Iori Fuyusaka. Don't ask me. I had nothing to do with it. Seems like he dreamt it on his own. Oh. He is a boy, and right at that special age. No <laughs> he dreams about the girl he's into. That's not true. Could that really be true? Does Juro have feelings for that girl? Don't worry, Iori's you know got her heart set means. on somebody else. You're in the past now, right? Well, maybe this, Juro. Enough. How about I give you an order that'll change that? Yori Fuyusaka's a witch. So she's one too. Indeed. Time to shoot and drag her onto the battlefield. Fluffy? What are you doing? <laughs> Do we just go in? Apparently not. We're just gonna chase the cat for a minute. <laughs> Okay, fine. Wait. There we go. That's our Fluffy. Are you trying? Oh. Is this about the other nut? No. I knew you were. Maybe I need a break. Fucking Mimiko again! Like this? This bitch. <laughs> You'll feel better after you. 
She probably will, actually. No, you want to. I'm only doing it because she's a witch. They say jealousy is flattering, but lying about it is just sad. Damn. Okay, they're gossiping about Usami being into Ogata. Just one by one drag all the students up to the roof. All right, then. Shoot them in the fucking head. So what is oh, it... Do we just... Do we just go? Do I get a to-be-continued? No! Can't let that happen. Okay. Alright, so everything with, um... No, I guess this is post-repair. Because Nachan's story takes place before Juro's story. What did you... Juro is mine. How dare you try to take him away from me. Fucking hell. No, this is... Um... You're having a lot of, like, thoughts, huh? This is for Juro. Kurabe-kun? But... Is it really? Who is this for? <gasps> this is for me. Hiyako san Even so. <gasps> Iori-chan! Are you okay? God, she's such a fucking menace. Alright, cool. Now we're getting to the stuff that's more relevant to recent revelations. I'm back. Juro. Do we just make him dinner or What should I make for dinner? Hi Lotus. It's good to see you. I hope you're well. I think we have some ground beef. Schmick hamburg steak every oh, time. Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some hamburg steak. Done. 
You lost in drawing land. It's a good place to be lost in. Something smells good. Well, we've been um, making progress. Uh, the we finished up. Um, let's see, Kisaragi's story. We finished up Miura's story, and we finished up Sakigahara's story. So there's quite a bit um, in the the first hour and a half of tonight. <laughs> now they were all pretty close to being finished anyway, but um, let's see what would be the key revelations that came about. Um, Kisaragi's story was very much concerning the um, one of the core truths of the world that the. D forces are terraforming equipment, and that Tommy Kisaragi was the designer of the terraforming system in twenty in twenty one eighty eight. Um, that they build the world, and then they get through phase two of construction. And should there be a perceived problem, they are in charge of tearing everything down to zero and starting again. Hence our kaiju invasions. And the loop. Um, Miura's story and Sekigahara's story... Um, well, Sekigahara's story covered the ideas of Sector Zero. Um, revealed the lovely point that Chihiro Morimura, the teacher, was not killed by Sekigahara, but rather by... Baby Chihiro... <laughs> That is, um, Miura's baby sister just fucking came and iced her ass. Said there can only be one, quite literally. And also revealed that the system is done looping. Um, that the loops that, where it recreates the world, whatever protocols exist, um, it won't, if it loops again, it will erase everyone. That there is no next loop. And then we fucking murdered Tetsuya Ida. It was really lovely. We murdered him again. <laughs> um, I'm trying to, I think Miura's was just sort of a, it looks like everyone else is in a sentinel. It's time to get in a sentinel. Let's go fucking fight. So we got three good cleanups with three, with, with at least two really good bits of information. You're awake, just in time. And now we're still taking orders from a cat and going around and shooting all of our friends. Am I Juro Izumi? What oh, are you saying? Do you remember me? You knew about this. That these dreams are really his memories? Please, you have to tell me. His memories haven't returned yet. Oh, we're getting there. Don't worry. Is what Fluffy's been doing really working? I hope so. You're... You're Juro Kurabe. Why are you saying that? It's all I can say. I made a promise to Tamao-san. My grandma? Please. Don't ask me anything else. They won't be able to continue staying here if you do. I don't understand. Juro. Hmm. This poor girl. She's trying her fucking best. But it's it's just a little toxic. It's just more than a little toxic. The way that she goes about it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is this the Tamau android? 
or is this the Tamau android possessed by Tomi Kisaragi's, uh, which was 426, that is Juro Izumi, that was in that body after that fight? You were with Juro earlier. Hmm. I suppose this is technically the first time we've met. I'm Tamau Karabe. You are crying. Poor thing. What do you want? I know you have feelings for Juro. What does that have to do with anything? You desire to be by his side, do you not? Oh, well, of course I do. Then you will do just that. I'll make the arrangement. This has to be 426, aka Juro Izumi, aka Fluffy, aka Q Toshiba, inside the Tamao android. What? It has to be. However, I have two conditions. First, you will treat him as Juro Karabe. Huh? You must not tell him anything about the future or about himself. But why? It's the only way to keep him safe. I well, maybe understand. not. Can you do it? Can you treat him only as Juro Karabe? Well, uh, I... My other condition. If he starts to remember he's Juro Izumi, you must tell me immediately. No, then this has yes. to be... This Why has to be the original Tamao android. It would be dangerous if he became Juro Izumi. Very dangerous. The reasons are unimportant. If you agree to these two conditions, you can live with him. <sighs> what will you do? That also implies, because the Tamao android was working with Ch with Miss Morimura. And that implies that the arrangement is done with her blessing in some way. How wonderful. Either that or Tamao was um, just not telling her. These documents make it legal for you to live with him. A rental agreement? I'll tell Morimura-san of our arrangement myself. Please. Go to Juro now. Oh, thank you. Go to Juro. Talk about setting your grandkid up. Fluffy, can nobody else see you? This damn cat. Oh. Juro. Is Kitty gonna appear again? Or are we going to school? We're going to school. Alright, who are we running into? Anybody? been living at the Karabe house. Oh, yes. Has there been any change? Has he said anything strange? Any confusion about being Juro Izumi? What makes you ask that? It sounds like you know something. Don't tell me. You know something? Excuse me. <laughs> Karabe-kun, is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi. Damn, speak of the devil. The way I am now is something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not Fuyusaka-san. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time? See, and this makes it really kind of fucking sad. That, like... <sighs> Because she, she was gunned down by baby Chihiro for reasons unknown at this point in time? Like, Chihiro just showed up out of fucking nowhere and shot her. Literally just, there can only be one. Just fucking completely destroyed her and left Sekigahara there having completely lost his memory standing next to a dead body. Like, just fucked the whole situation up. And yet... I mean, this this Miss Morimura is a 
got a complex history and character to her. Kurabe-kun? As, like, the 2104 Morimura. What was that about? Hmm. I don't know. It's like, it's such an interesting set of connections. Because, like, that's not necessarily the Chihiro that was on Sumire Bridge. Um, if I recall correctly, the Jiro Izumi that is 426 is from a previous loop. But she likely had uh, similar experiences. She, I mean, she's been through everything, and she's trying to save the fucking world. And she just gets fucking iced by literally herself. All right, we gotta go find hey. go find our boy. You're talking to me here. Won't other people see? <laughs> this is an emergency. Juro's been taken. What? That idiot. He got too close to some dangerous people. Dangerous? Yeah. Those who use magic for their own means. I mean, look, Okino and and uh, Hijiyama, they are not so you bad. You went there before. The abandoned factory in Higoromocho. They're going to alter his memories. You need to go there again. You need to rescue Juro. Damn it, he's getting too far. He's gone? I knew he wasn't real. You know shit. No. It was a talking it cat. Matter. Right now, Juro needs me. I'm on my way, Juro. Yeah, Yakushiji's also just a cold motherfucker, too. Wait! Are you with him? You know Fluffy? Fluffy? Don't worry. He can make you better. <sighs> You're starting to recognize what's in your dreams, aren't you? Do you remember me? It's not exactly like that. I finally understand. These... the things I remember, they aren't from the Juro you know. <clears throat> no. That can't be. Yeah. Why would you say that? The things I saw in my dreams, they're memories. And the only memory I have of you is when I shot and killed you. <gasps> I was worried. I was so afraid that, that I'd hurt you again. Because I... Who are you? Is there really nothing left? Oh. There's no trace of him inside you? <sighs> no, I betrayed everyone. Betrayed Tony. It was all a lie. I... I'm such an idiot. It is not foolish to want to believe. Yakushiji. But it is foolish to take orders from a talking cat. Why are we at a Yame? He really is gone forever. Chihiro, what you doing? What you doing, hun? You got you got something? Are you all right? You by yourself? I am. Are you by yourself too? There's someone coming. Can you stay and talk till then? Making the child wait all by herself. Of course. I'll stay here until they come get you. Where's your friends? Well, I have some at school. No, silly. I'm not talking about them. I mean your friend that told you to update the decode. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You look like a scared kitten. 
I she she basically is. Hold it right there. Who are you? <laughs> Who ordered you to update the decode? Decode? Do you mean the Dimos code? Yep. I know it wasn't you. Tell me who it was. It was a cat. Huh? A fluffy black cat with a white tipped tail. So you caught her? Grenya Goto. You're late, Goto kun. Did you know? Do you understand what you did to me? I sealed your powers as a witch. You gonna keep saying that at this point? The kaiju. That's what I was told. Witches and cats. Interesting story. I thought you'd be able to see through the ruse a bit more. Wanna know what you shot him with? It was nanomachines. They added code to the ones already in their bodies. The code expands the kaiju's capabilities. How strong it will allow them to become, we have no way of knowing. Oh. That's great. That can't be. The one behind all this. The one who manipulated you. It seems they are trying to take control of the decode. If they succeed, they will also have control of the Sentinel dock in the factory. In other words, we lose all our means of defense. Are you aware of who that cat is? No. That seems bad. He must have known this would happen. He had a plan. That's why he used the girl, so we couldn't trace it back to him. But that very cleverness is what proves it was him. So, who is he? No one you'd have heard of. He's a criminal from the future. A criminal? From the very beginning. It was all lies. I won't forgive him. We're gonna go kill a cat. Do I just leave? Alright, we just fucking leave. Instead of, like, questioning them more? <laughs> there you are. About time you got back. You lied to me. About everything. Yeah, uh-huh. You seem mad, but I haven't lied to you. You're a criminal from the future. I know you are. All that about ancient civilizations and curses. You've been playing me for a fool the whole time! I haven't been lying. There is an ancient civilization. This may look like the 20th century, but it's not. Humanity actually died out in the 22nd century. It's been millions of years since then. So, in reality, the 22nd century is an ancient civilization. So you're saying this isn't the real world? Another person learns the big secret. No. Approximately, yes. Not no matter what. Go the way I want them to. I can get you all out of here alive. <laughs> yeah, you really think that's going to do anything? They told you it was nano machines. All ah, right. Those are my memories, actually. <laughs> it's not my fault, though. You really think I believe your lies again? No, I don't imagine you would. You were using Juro too, weren't you? It was not my intention, but in the end, that is what happened. You need to give up on trying to bring him back. What are you doing, hun? You're gonna run out of magic bullets. By the way, I forgot to mention, you're the final witch. But you don't have to meet the same fate as the rest of them. Wait, what? Where am I? Where? Hello? Where is he? Uh. 
shit. Itchy trigger finger, huh? What's happening? Well, this is dramatic. Jesus Christ. To actually shoot yourself like that, it must have really been driving you mad. But don't worry. If you don't fight, there's no way you'll survive. You did what had to be done. I want to apologize about his memories. There were things that happened I didn't expect. But none of that matters to you. There's no excuse. I boasted about how I could bring him back. It may seem like I tricked you, but I really did all that I could. I had no ill intent. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> you made him sympathetic with a bunch of those lines all in a row, and then and then suddenly we're back to, hey, you fucky bastard. I just wanted him to become the Juro of my world. I wanted to control his feelings of love, almost like a parent to their child. I wanted my desires to become his own. I guess I hesitated once I saw the depth of your feelings. There was still some human left in me after all. You might not believe me, but I really have become fond of you, Megumi Yakushiji. The days we spent together were surprisingly fun. It gave me an odd feeling. As if I were on holiday with a cheeky daughter. You left me some nice memories. And now it's up to all of you. I've made all the preparations I could. Since I was unable to hold up my end of our contract, this is goodbye. If our plan succeeds, I want you to live out the rest of your life with Juro. Take care, and good luck. Yakushiji. Damn. Juro. What happened? <laughs> Did you shoot yourself in the stomach with that gun? Please wait. Just hear me out. Okay. Ever since I last saw you, I've been thinking about the dreams I had. None of that matters now. I dream of myself inside the Sentinel. I've seen it over and over. I fight in the Sentinel, taking down kaiju after kaiju, struggling in pain, fighting like some kind of possessed demon. Right arm destroyed. Damage immense. Pilot must cease control. I still have my left arm. Abnormality detected in life support. Emergency release of Sentinel pilot. Initiating. No, cancel release. I'll continue to pilot. Override command. I won't let them destroy Megumi City. This place is home to all our memories. Life support limit reached. Emergency release procedure. Initiating. No! Cancel the release! I'm not done yet! The more I thought about it, the clearer it became. The only one who has experience piloting Sentinels is the Juro Izumi you know. These are his memories. <sighs> In battle, he was always calling out someone's name. I didn't realize it at first, but I know it now. It was your name. He was fighting oh my for you. Juro. I'm not, I'm not Juro Izumi anymore, but my feelings are the same. <gasps> Maybe it's because of his memories. But even so, none of that matters to me now. Because I, well, I love you. I see... I remember having weird feelings about this before, and I've got weird feelings about it again. 
Juro has been put through the ringer and manipulated, and Karabe, the, the personality that is Karabe, whether constructed or not, is who this person is. And everyone under the sun tried to give him the memories and feelings and experiences of people that were not him, including Megami. And for selfish ends. And it, I mean, it's, it's just such a strange bag, like such a mixed bag of like, it's, you know, great that My they found, for you yeah, the feelings exist and they're, they're, they're back, but it feels like in a way that they almost come out of nowhere. Do you not feel the same way? Thank you, but... Fluffy really was trying, just like he said. He was trying to get his memories back. What do I... It's true that uh, I'm not... I may not be as strong as him, but I don't care. I will protect you with everything that I have. Like, I'm all in on the protector instinct. Love that. Big mood. Big fucking mood. Um... But it just, it, it's, no. it feels almost tainted in a way. I'll never let you fight on your own again. I'll fight to protect you too, Juro. I wouldn't have it any other way. Does that mean Yakushiji? <laughs> Look at him sleeping up there. I hope he's warm. <laughs> You'll still be there at lunch. Doubt it. Fluffy, I know you're not him. I just wanted to say I'm sorry, and I. Oh. I don't know that apologizing to a cat does very much I'll try on. I'll my best for you, Fluffy. You might want to go apologize to Tomi, because you did exactly shoot her in the back in the middle of the cafeteria. Juro, I told you so many times, but you still went without me. This time, it will be different. This time, it's my turn to save you. I hope you're watching, Fluffy. I will beat this game. Activate. To the final battle. Like, and may, all of Megami's feelings are, like, very valid. I can't blame a character for the things that she... I mean, she's really well written in that way. That she had someone that she loved who lost his entire person. And she spent all this time trying to f find a way to reclaim and, re uh, and, and bring back to life what was had. That's perfectly valid. It's Juro's reaction that feels strange. That's it feels strange. I don't know, I still have such, it just feels weird. It feels really weird how that, that story wraps up. <laughs>